This is a quick video on putting together a commercial carpet or tile cleaning estimate. First I want to show you this is a website called ThemeForest. That's ThemeForest.net and they up here in the nav bar they have a section called Graphic River. If you're looking for super professional inexpensive templates you can come here and do some searches. Most of them are around $10 to $15. So you can find something uh, super professional for very cheap and you own it. It's not something you have to buy for each one. It's just a template you could buy and there's some really uh, great looking brochures, proposals, whatever that you can buy here. Now if you wanted to create one yourself, here's an example of one that I made in Word. I just have my logo, estimate number. The date, uh, quick intro, right here, who it's going to, who it's from, and this is just a simple table. You can insert a table in Microsoft Word uh, in about two minutes, so this isn't anything complicated. If it is a smaller job, usually I just have this sign and date section here. I list everything that I'm proposing up in here and then sign and date and that's basically my agreement if, if for smaller jobs. Uh, once you start talking about five, ten, twenty thousand dollars or more then I, I would go a little bit more into it but for a simple one page you can list your service description and then I would offer options so for instance option one two times a year equals X option two four times a year X equals Y and this way you can give people two or three different options and let them decide what's best for them next uh, we'll provide a project description maybe include the industry they're in uh, the carpet fiber or flooring type the conditions we've noticed during inspection, a solution, service recommendations, maybe even tips on how they can maintain long term. Next, case studies. You want to use your own real pictures whenever possible and try to find something that matches up. So, for in instance, if it's a manufacturing plant, then you find other manufacturing jobs and pictures. If it is, uh, maybe you can find somebody down the street, like a restaurant down the street you've done. Or uh, you can also see if there's any well known companies that you work for, somebody in their uh, networking group. Any way that you can make a connection with people is great for a case study. And finally, if it's big enough and worth your time, you can also put together a quick cover letter. A quick one would be just a brief paragraph on who you are. This would be the value proposition. What it is that you want to focus on, you want to drop in there. For other industries, it wouldn't be safety. It might be sanitizing or something else. List your services. Maybe drop how long you've been in business or how many sites you do. Anything that can build credibility. And then your name and title of course.